G'day, g'day, my name is Deleted Days, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another pixel art time lapse, similar to my last one a few weeks ago. I've already started a new world and got my canvas ready to build on. So, while the sun is still shining, let's get on with the time lapse. Now, for today's pixel art, I decided to build a character from a new game that came out recently called Doki Doki Plus. Now, Doki Doki Plus is basically a console remake of Doki Doki Literature Club which came out back in 2017 on PC only. Doki Doki Plus and DDLC have pretty much the same story, but Doki Doki Plus introduced a few new side stories and unlockable images and music, giving the game a lot more replay value than the original. Now I fell in love with Doki Doki back when I first played it a few years ago, and when I heard they were releasing a console version, I was hyped. So, I decided to make a pixel art of one of the characters. Now, if you haven't figured out by the thumbnail, this character is Monica, and she is basically the most important character in Doki Doki. This version of Monica that I'm making technically isn't the true one. This version was featured on the cover art for Doki Doki Plus, and also in some of the unlockable images in game. So, why did I decide to build this version instead of the original? Well, I've already built the original before. In fact, I've built all the Doki Doki characters back before I even started YouTube. As a few users already know, I've been building pixel arts for quite a while now, and uh, currently I've got about six other pixel arts of just characters from Doki Doki, which you can see in my Xbox profile. I'll be making a video of all my older pixel arts soon, so be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see them. Uh, I've got about 30 all up, and each of them on average are about 10 hour builds, with my longest pixel art taking nearly 40 hours of actual building. Unluckily, I didn't record a lot of my older pixel arts because I didn't have any reason to. I only started YouTube quite recently, so when that video does come out, it'll most likely be a quick compilation of my pixel arts instead of a time lapse like these videos. Okay, so speaking about time lapses, let's get back on topic. Well, we're about halfway complete now, and you can sort of see what the end result's going to look like already, but there's still a fair bit of work to go yet before it's finished. Pixel arts take quite a lot of time to make, so if you want to make your own, you will need patience. Otherwise, if you rush, you could potentially ruin your entire build and make the time spent on it almost worthless. One of the hardest parts about making pixel arts is choosing the right colours for the right areas. You don't want to choose a colour that could potentially be better used in another area because it's very difficult to swap them around once they're already placed. That's why whenever I build my pixel arts, I do them one colour at a time. I place gold blocks to mark the coloured areas, then decide after what block I'm going to change them into. Whenever I can't decide, I change it into a block like diamond or emerald block because they stand out and I can come back to them later and choose the proper colour. Now, some colours are harder to manage than others. Colours like pinks and purples are limited in their overall selection, so you'll need to be careful when choosing what pink you want to use. Wool, concrete powder and concrete all have different versions of each of the main colours, but three isn't usually enough for making a pixel art. Luckily, blocks like stained glass can be used to change the tint of a block. For example, white concrete with red stained glass on top will look like a light red block but you should only use this if you can't find any other light red blocks. And now we're approaching the end of the pixel art. One thing I wanted to mention is I changed the hair colour after I stopped recording. I don't know why, I just didn't like how it looked, so I changed it to a slightly lighter brown. So if you notice anything different, that's what it is. And now we're finally finished. Hours of building cut down into probably five minutes. But well, here you can see what the pixel art looks like up close. Over here is what I was talking about with that stained glass. It helps a lot when doing tiny hits of colour and adds a lot of possibilities when it comes to choosing colours for your build. Even down here for the leggings, all the browns and greys are covered in dark grey glass and that completely changes the colour instead of wasting time trying to find blocks that wouldn't work as good. Now this pencil didn't turn out the best but from a distance it isn't that bad so it doesn't matter too much. Anyway, now that everything is done, I would like to thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you didn't, let me know how I can improve, 
as I'm only new to YouTube and any constructive criticism is highly appreciated. Well, my name's Elite Days and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a good one.